hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna be making a very delicious popular snack known as rosette cookies it is very crispy and very delicious doesn't that sound delicious I'm going to leave the list of the ingredients in the description box and you're going to need a very important tool in making the cookies. It is known as a mold or the rosette iron. In the bowl, I have 3 quarter cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of coconut flour. I'm also going to be adding a tablespoon of cornstarch. You could also use corn flour if that is what you have. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt and mix everything together. After mixing everything to combine, I'm going to sift the dry ingredients. So when I'm done, I'm just going to set it aside. In a bowl, I'm going to crack in two large eggs and whisk it a bit. Then add in the sugar and mix. After beating the sugar and eggs for a bit, I'm going to be adding a cup of milk, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of rose water. This is optional. You can use any flavor of your choice. I'm just going to mix everything together, then add the dry ingredients, then mix to combine. So I'm just going to mix everything together till there are no lumps. When you are done mixing, the batter is supposed to be lighter than a pancake batter. So that is what we are going for. So when I'm done, I'm going to pass the batter through a sifter to eliminate any lumps. Sometimes when you make this batter, it is sometimes lumpy. So this is an excellent way to eliminate the lumps or you could let the batter sit for a while. If this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever I post a video, like and share the video if you like what you see. Thank you. After pouring the batter back into the bowl, I'm going to cover it and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. You can do this a day ahead of time and refrigerate it. After 30 minutes, the batter is ready for frying. So I'm just going to pour the batter into a larger bowl to accommodate the large rosette mold. I'm going to line a plate with paper towel to soak up the excess oil from the heated mold and also line a tray for the rosette cookies. I'm going to heat up some vegetable oil to fry the cookies. So when it is hot enough, I'm going to check with a skewer. When it bubbles, you know it is ready. Then I'm going to put the mold in the hot oil to sit in the pan and heat up for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, I'm going to shake off the excess oil then place the mold on the paper towel to soak up the excess oil. Before inserting the mold into the batter, I'm just going to give the batter a quick mix so that the batter will have an even consistency. So I'm going to carefully dip the mold into the batter, making sure it does not submerge. So when I'm frying the rosette, I will hold on to the mold, making sure it is still submerged and also suspended away from the bottom of the pan. In other words, the mold should not have a direct contact with the bottom of the pan. Sometimes the rosette sticks to the mold, so when that happens, just gently pull it away from it, it's gonna come off. Fry your rosette until it is golden brown, flipping from side to side. When it is golden brown, take it out of the oil. It is gonna be crispy when it cools down. So we are just gonna be repeating the same process again. After dipping it into the batter, you're gonna fry it. 
this one is gonna peel off easily that's why i want to show it to you just give it a little bit of shake and it is gonna come off easily so you're just gonna fry it let it harden up a little bit then flip it on the other side fry it until it is golden brown oh i forgot to say this don't forget to always leave the mold in the hot oil and always fry your cookies on medium to medium low heat though my mold is very large there are other smaller molds out there you could fry them two or more at a time in order to save time this is how i fry two at a time frying these cookies is time consuming so if there's a way to shorten it why not let me use this time to send a special shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you if you are still watching the video and you like what you see give me a thumbs up and if you are still watching the video and you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for just click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video subscription is free this is to all returning viewers that are not yet subscribed to my channel and you enjoy watching my videos i think it is advisable for you to subscribe because you're gonna get an alert when you subscribe to my channel especially when you turn on the notification bell the bell close to the subscribe button and select all you're gonna get an alert whenever i post a video one thing about making rosette cookies you always have leftover batter because the batter is not enough to coat the sides of the rosette mold so what do you do with it what i do i just pour the batter in a ziploc bag then cut a small hole at the tip of the bag then pipe it into the oil and fry it the way you fry funnel cake if you have ever made rosette cookies before tell me in the comment section what you do with the leftover batter so i'm just gonna fry it until it is golden brown it is so delicious do you guys know that rosette cookies is a very popular snack it is popular in so many cultures and even in Nigeria, especially the northern part of Nigeria, it is very easy to find someone selling it on the street. And whenever I find one, I can't get enough of it. These cookies are very light and crunchy. You're gonna like it. I got about 20 pieces of rosette cookies from the batter and some leftover. Don't forget to give this recipe a try whenever you want to make your rosette cookies. I promise you, you would not be disappointed. Let us listen to the crunch. That was really crunchy. So thank you guys for watching. Till I see you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you. Bye.